Hi folks, Lee from Roland UK here, and I'm going to give you an overview of this, the Boss GT100 Guitar Amp Effects Processor. Over the next few minutes I'm going to tell you all of the key features of the Boss GT100, but the thing I really want to mention to you uh, from a personal perspective is this thing, although it looks like a control panel from the Death Star, it's actually the easiest multi-effects you're ever going to find. And I actually don't know how Boss or Roland or anybody else are going to make something easier than this to use. And the thing that really amazes me about the next generation Cosm amp modeling that's in this thing is as a guitar player, what I'm looking for in an amp is for it to respond to my playing and respond in a natural way. So if I dig in with the pick up, the amp will respond in a certain way. Each manufactured amp responds differently. So a Fender, for instance, doesn't respond the same as a Marshall. And then you have the variations within those particular brands, for instance. So simply taking a snapshot of um, the sweet spot from an amplifier isn't really true modeling. And that's not what they've done with the, the GT100. It literally, each model will respond at every gain stage and every attack of the pick or back off of the volume control in the way that that particular amp model would in real life. So here comes the science bit. The Boss GT100 is six times more powerful than its predecessor, the Boss GT10, and a good proportion of that power is going into turning this digital device actually into something that can respond like a, an analog device, like a valve amplifier. And what our clever boffins back in Japan have done is that they've created an actual bespoke chipset to do that. So all the best audio hardware that you can buy these days has its own bespoke hardware built into it. Now virtually no other multi-effects unit does this. Most manufacturers will pick something off the shelf to go into a unit like this. Um, the boffins back in Japan have created something specifically uh, for the Boss GT100 and for audio uh, purposes. And that's why this thing is so powerful and so responsive to your playing. But enough of this waffle I hear you say. Let's have a listen to what he's talking about. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you how the GT100 responds like a real amplifier to my playing dynamics. So I'm going to play with my fingers, I'm going to roll back the volume a few times, probably get a hold of a pick, dig in a little bit with that. And I'm going to use the Fender Pro Crunch model that's in the GT100 set fairly crunchy as you can hear the difference so let me uh, put a backing track on for you play over the top and then make those changes so you can hear it <laughs> you know, digging really with the pick or just kind of playing softly with my fingers or rolling back the volume. You know, it was responding to my playing. So let me take you on a little tour around the Boss GT100. Firstly, there's two dual screens and they're huge. And on one of the play screens, it actually makes the screen look like a real amplifier. And I can go in and I can change all the amp types if I want to. Uh, and when I'm settled on one, I can then go and change the gain settings and all of the EQ settings and the overall level as I would do on a real amp. Everything's one click away, so one click takes me into the effects chain. And there on the left screen I can see my effects chain and I can move along throughout the, the, the chain from guitar input to eventual output. I can move the effects around uh, anywhere in the chain. I can toggle them on and off and when I do so the right hand screen actually behaves like the real stomp box 
and this applies to any effects that you land on in the chain you can alter them as you would do on a regular compact you can change the type so here are all my delays that I've got a choice of and it just makes the whole thing so easy to program another really cool feature is the easy tone button one click takes me to this feature and basically what it allows me to do is create a patch based on the genre so if I don't know how to create a you know a really cool blues patch um, I can go in and change a variation there um, and there's so many different genres built into it with lots of variations within it and I'll just toggle through some of the uh, genres so you can see them on the screen We've got West Coast, Fuzz Rock, um, Studio and once you've chosen one that you like the sound of uh, you can save that and it creates all of the effects in the right order for you then if you double click on the two bank pedals it takes you into manual mode and will turn the actual GT100 into an effects board basically like having the stomp boxes in front of you there's also a built-in tuner uh, and along with that on the other screen they've incorporated a metronome which is really useful for practice and you can use that actually for your uh, looping because built into this is a 38 second looper with a dedicated foot switch as well there's also the Excel feature which is brand new and allows you to control effects in real time there's a stereo auxiliary in to allow you to hook up your CD player, your MP3 player and, and those kinds of things for your backing tracks maybe. There's a headphone socket which is also like a balanced stereo output and you can hook that up to your computer if you wanted to. You've got your outputs left and right mono as you'd expect and a USB connection to allow you to hook it up to your computer, download patches and record direct. So a final word from me on the Boss GT100 is if you can use a, a real amplifier and you know what to do with that um, and you can use one of these uh, the compact or a, you know a regular stomp box then you can use the Boss GT100 because effectively it is an amplifier and a bunch of stomp boxes that you can plug together in pretty much any configuration you like and it's that easy to program and it's that powerful it will sound like the, the originals I think this is the most amazing multi-effects unit I've ever used or come across I really don't know how uh, Roland or Boss or like anybody else for that matter is going to come up with something simpler yet have the same power and capabilities that this thing has. We should just have to wait and see. But in the meantime, you need to get your hands on one. So go and try one out and uh, let me know what you think. Till next time, see ya.